Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 dark messages hidden in famous paintings. Art, sometimes dark. Kicking off the list at number 10, the creation of Adam. We'll start this list off with one of the most famous paintings of sculptor and artist, Michelangelo. The creation of Adam. You've seen it at one point or another, or you've seen it referenced at one point or another. It was painted back in 1508. The poster of E.T. was inspired by this painting. With little hands, little phone call. Memes have been on a whole new level thanks to Michelangelo in this piece. But what's the dark background here exactly? Perhaps the plethora of naked folks in the sky all bunched up together? Not exactly. It was known that back in the 1500s, Michelangelo used to dissect bodies, all in the name of art. Of course, why not? He would create anatomic artwork, that's why his creation of Adam kind of looks like he's crawling out of an organ. To be honest, I never noticed it at first, now, I can't unsee it. That's definitely the inside of a body. The Sistine Chapel has many dark pieces of art. I may or may not mention another. Number nine, Bill Clinton. We've all heard that clip downloading music growing up. You know, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Like bro, I'm trying to listen to Christmas music. What is this? Whose voice is this? What did I download? Why is this computer not working anymore? I'm so grounded. Back in 2006, former US President Bill Clinton showed off this beautiful portrait of himself, done by the incredible artist John Nelson Shanks. As far as portraits go, this is beautiful, the art is beautiful and all that, but that pose, I mean, I don't know, something's, something's off about it. His stance is like, let me redo it. He just looks uncomfortable, you know? He doesn't look ready yet. Well, that's because the shadow on the left side of the portrait, it's meant to represent Monica Lewinsky. I'm not even lying to you. I knew it, I felt like there was some darkness in here. I'm like, oh, something's off here. There's some shady history around, pun intended. The artist himself admitted that this was indeed the case. He used the dress shape as symbolism to the scandal while he was creating the artwork. I thought the dark background here was Bill's pants, but well, I was wrong, that's why we're here. We like to educate. Number eight, the Madonna with Saint Giovanni. For this next one, we'll be taking a look at a painting from the 15th century by artist Domenico Ghirlandio. This painting is currently in the Hall of Hercules in Palazzo Vecchio in Florence. Also, if I'm saying any of these names wrong, you can tell me, I'm, it's probably gonna be a lot of them, I'm trying. The painting shows the Virgin Mary, infant Jesus, of course, with a six pack, for some reason. And over her right shoulder, we can see this object floating in the sky. Let's take a closer look at that, shall we? What is that? Is that a drone? A magnetic balloon? A, a weather balloon? Those weren't around then. What's even more interesting is that a man is looking up at the sky at this object. He's even covering his eyes, shielding the sun to try and get a better look. Man's going blind to try and see what's hovering above him. It's always a good sign as well when your dog is barking at something next to you in the sky. Art historians believe that the object is an angel, an angel resembling a cloud, while others believe that it's a clear sign of alien visitors. I'm others. I'm like, oh, E.T., the whole thing. I'm, this is starting to make more sense now. What do you guys think? Was this the 15th century version of drawing the sun at the top corner of your painting? Or did this mystery artist just document UFO footage with his own brush? Number seven, Cafe Terrace at Night. Upon first glance, you can tell this is a piece done by the fabulous Vincent Van Gogh. The blue tones, the streaks. I did the Van Gogh experience downtown Toronto and it was mesmerizing, honestly. The floor is moving, I was like, falling into the walls and everything, it was great. While his 1888 oil painting, Cafe Terrace at Night, looks like a quiet late night summer dream, it's actually pretty dark when you start looking closely. I'm not a Van Gogh expert by any means, but Jared Baxter, he is. Back in 2015, Jared brought forth this idea that Cafe Terrace at Night was really Van Gogh's version of The Last Supper. This figure in the center with long hair and 12 surrounding individuals, one of which is slipping into darkness, Meh, it checks out. He also says there are hidden crucifixes in this painting. I knew there was something spiritual about that Van Gogh exhibit. I knew it all around me. I'm like, is that a floating crucifix? Where'd it go? It's gone. Number six, Medusa. Another one of the most recent paintings on today's list is Medusa by Caravaggio. It was done back in 1597. Crazy that that's a recent painting. That's so long ago in my head. And this photo, I'll admit right off the bat, is a little bit haunting. It's, yeah, it's a little gory, it's a little graphic. But where does this idea come from? What compels a person to spend this long on a scary painting? The entire time I'd be like, mm -hmm. We all know the story of Medusa, the woman with, you know, snakes for hair, when you look at them, you turn to stone and then you're stuck forever and it's horrible. Well, this is a painting that really captures her, her essence, her beauty, you know, really just, uh, her complexion is so nice, her snake complexion. The snakes really add to the moment, you know, without taking away. The blood oozing out of her neck also draws the eye, it's a nice, 
Oh, it's a nice accent. This painting was meant to be a depiction of the defeat of Medusa, obviously. The legend goes that Perseus, who is the son of Zeus and Danae, was given a shield by Athena. He took said shield to battle Medusa and he managed to outsmart her by letting her catch a glimpse of her own reflection in that shield. Bam, you played yourself. Yeah, she turned herself into stone and then this is when he took his sword out and you know, you can probably feel the rest of it. You've seen Game of Thrones. A happy moment, perhaps? I don't know. Imagine having this in your home. I wouldn't sleep. It's terrifying to look at. Number five, the Mona Lisa. No way she's on this list. What is she up to? How can the Mona Lisa possibly be on this dark messages list? She's literally just... She's chilling out, she's so calm. Another masterpiece from Da Vinci, coming from the 15th century. There's already been, of course, hundreds of theories surrounding this painting. Like perhaps she could have been pregnant, given her stance with the, you know, the hands doing the thing. And the veil over her shoulders, those were worn often by pregnant women during the Italian Renaissance. But back in 2011, a clue was found in the painting. Yeah, a clue, like we're national treasure all of a sudden. Silvano Vincetti supposedly found letters and numbers painted into her eyes. Teeny tiny microscopic numbers and letters. How fun is that? Yeah, I was at my desk earlier and my forehead was like touching my computer screen. I was like, really? Are you sure? I was looking, couldn't find anything. My eyes aren't that great. The L over her right eye stands for Leonardo and in the other eye, there's a 72, the number seven and two. We believe so far this relates to Christianity and Judaism. Seven, the creation of the world and two, the duality of men and women. Meanwhile, I'm over here drawing that really cool S. I think I nailed that, I'm not gonna lie. Number four, The Ambassadors. This one got me, I'm not gonna lie, I got the creeps after this. The Ambassadors is a painting from 1533. I've seen this one before, as I'm sure you have at one point or another. Hans Hobianth Jungers painted this lovely room with, you know, scholars, there's a globe, a mandolin, you know, to pass the time, help inspiration, as we all, that's why we get mandolins. We have one in the corner here at the studio. Chris whips it, often. But at the bottom, we see an anamorphic skull. It makes you want to cock your head around almost. It doesn't seem to fit in properly. Like the angle of the skull is wrong. It looks like whenever I try and use Photoshop, it's just something's off. Experts believe this was done intentionally to remind us that death is around the corner. So when I was looking at this, I was like, why is that doing that? And I'm like, oh, death is around the haunting. Next, number three, the old guitarist. Any fans of Game of Thrones on here? Well, this next one gives off major White Walker vibes. The old guitarist is, well, exactly what you think. It's an old man, hunched over, white hair, playing a guitar. This would be creepy regardless, just on its own. But when Pablo Picasso was putting together this masterpiece back in the early 1900s, he had some tricks up his sleeve. At the end of the 1900s, in 1998, researchers used infrared on the painting. Again, national treasure style for some reason. And this time, it wasn't a hidden message, it was a hidden woman. Yeah, another woman was painted underneath the elderly man. So because this paint is naturally fading now, she's becoming more and more clear to see. That is so deep. That's the most deep thing. Am I into art? Am I enjoying art? Am I researching? This is fun. I like this. Number two, Netherlandish proverbs. Back in 1559, Peter Bruegel the Elder, great name, created this oil painting and we're still trying to unravel everything in here. And this painting, I mean, for one, it's massive. There's a lot going on. It's on display currently in the Gamal the Gallery in Berlin. It's got a lot going on. And when you really start to focus, you can see some weird going on in this painting. What is that guy doing? That guy's banging his head off the wall. Walter White's been throwing pizzas on the roof for some reason. That fish ate a bigger fish. This dude fell off an ox onto a donkey. What kind of heist was going on in this town? What is happening? Ah, uh, I see. It's supposed to be horrible. Lovely. Proverbs were a hot topic back in the 1500s. Apparently, over 100 Dutch proverbs and idioms are seen in this painting. He also aimed to illustrate the stupidity of man, and given how much of a shit show this town looks like, I'd say Peter nailed it. And finally, number one, the Arnolfini portrait. This one is the most impressive paintings on our list. I am a sucker for reflections. And for this one, we'll be looking at Jan van Eck's painting from 1434. It's quite old, the oldest on our list. This is an oil painting titled the Arnolfini Portrait. It shows Giovanni de Nicolaio Arnolfini, his wife, and a little doggo. In the background, that's where things get mysterious. There's a mirror, a painted mirror. It's been widely believed that Jan is in the painting themselves. We love an artist cameo, nice. I'm actually in that wall too. Believe it or not, you just can't see me yet. It hasn't been long enough. Also, written in Latin above the mirror, there's a message. A Latin message. Let's do it. The message reads, Jan van Eck was here. 1434. That's got to be the oldest blank was here of all time. Even older than Brooks was here from Shawshank Redemption. 
That was pretty old. A message like that with the artist hidden in the painting, that gives me goosebumps all around. And I'm not really entirely sure why. Guys, I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. Those were the top 10 messages hidden in famous paintings. If you want a part two, gladly. I'll put on my monocle, we'll dive in for some more. We'll see you next time. Have a good weekend, cheers. I actually don't know if I mentioned another one. I'm like, did I delete it? <laughs> I may or may not mention one. And then editors, we can zoom in, there's a little doggo. It's hard to see, but he's a little, he's barking. He's doing that dog half bark. <clears throat> Just throw up, I'm like, oh, so much coffee. I'm so burpy, I slammed so much coffee before I came in. I'm like, yeah, let's get hyped. Now I'm gonna throw up. Sorry, editors, you're gonna hear me burping for four minutes. Oh God, this is a fun little paintings list. I feel like a historian today. My little, my little historian Tim Hortons coffee. Mm-mm.